Hello, I'm Keith Ford, and we're here at Rock Island Auction House on another edition of From the Vault, and I'm here with my man Steve Ostrom. And today we have this Walther PP. Now the PP was the first commercially successful double action blowback handgun. Developed in 1929, the originals had a 90 degree safety, which dropped down, and this one is one of the 90, early 90 degree safeties. Later on, they changed the cut right here where it didn't have to swing all the way down. Chambered in 32, the PP was originally in 32, 22 rimfire and very, very limited amount in 25. You just don't see them very often. Now the PP stands for Pistol Polizei and is a super sweet little gun of, used by the police in Germany and then issued to officers in the German army during the Second World War. After the war, uh, production continued with Manurin in France and then back into Germany. Uh, Fritz Walther escaped to the west, avoided capture by Russians, and then later on continued production of the PP, PPKs, and the PPs are still being produced today. Now what makes this special right here is that this gun was one of the personal firearms of Heinrich Himmler, Reichsfuhrer of the Schutzstaffel, the SS, and the uh, architect of the final solution. This right here is probably one of the most unique guns I have ever seen. Very ornate, oak leaves engraved in here, the SS emblem, the swastika, here on the back, the HH initials for Heinrich Himmler. And then over here on the side, and we can see the proofs right here, the crown in. Crown in right there, designates before 1940. Niter blue and extractor. And even engraving on the magazine and down here on the base. This is just an amazing piece and how it made it through the war and back here to the States in this kind of condition is just blows me away because a lot of times these guns were taken out, shot, and traded off. Uh, just didn't think nothing about it, but the guy who, who got this, he, he thought well in advance and took a awful and good care of it. This is just something that you don't ever see. Himmler wouldn't have carried this gun. This would have been a display piece up in his office. And just amazing. So basically this came home in a duffel bag? Yep, duffel bag. Uh, so you wrapped it up very yep. nicely. Yeah, very nicely. I don't know if there's any capture papers on this. I would imagine that there wouldn't have been because a lot of times, <laughs> a lot of times when never- Probably wasn't supposed to have yeah, it. Yeah, wasn't supposed to have it. Uh, really nice pieces, officers, a lot of times yeah. would commandeer those. If, yeah, if you're a private and they catch you with that, they're gonna say, we have to confiscate that. Yep. And it goes home with him. Yeah, but this right here just, just amazing amazing in the history of what it is and where it was and what it's been through. It's just some awfully fine engraving on yeah, it. Yeah, very pre-war engraving. A lot of time went into this whenever it was presented to him. And I believe that that's it for this edition of From the Vault. Thanks to Rock Island and thank you for watching and be sure and join us again whenever we bring another gun from the vault. Mm -hmm.